and welcome back to my home. Uh, a number of you have asked me about my outfits, where I get my skirts, tops, and some things like that. And so I thought today I'm going to do a little video about that. It might seem kind of strange to do it this time of the year because we're at the changing seasons and I definitely feel like I need to do some spring clothing shopping. So the outfits I'm going to be showing you are some of my favorite outfits from this past spring, winter, and some of them I could even wear like last summer. And here in Ohio it's still pretty cool today. I was wearing a sweater. I got a little warm when I was in the house so I took it off. But um, we've been wearing sweaters pretty much all spring. I think this is also kind of a way for me to take inventory of what I have and what I need to get. I'll try to remember where I got my things. Some things, I'm the kind of person who, once I find something I like, I wear and wear and wear it until it's about threadbare. <laughs> so some of the things are, you know, I've had a year or two or three and I don't remember where I got them. I have found some skirts and tops at garage sales and thrift stores, but not a lot. I tend to not do as well with things I buy from thrift stores and garage sales. Every now and then I hit on something good, but for some reason they don't fit me that well. I bring them home and they're kind of, I don't know if it's my size or what, but they always seem kind of stretched and just don't fit quite right. So I will get started showing you all what I have and if you have any questions just let me know in the comments below and maybe we can do this um, maybe once I do some spring shopping and get some more spring things I can do this again I don't know show you all some of the tops but I'll show you what some of my favorites are right now okay I will start with my denim skirts because that's my favorite thing to wear right now this one I believe I got at good store or maybe this is the one I got from Cato uh, I should have double checked for sure I'll leave links down below to the places where I got these and this one has in the back let me just show you in the back it has kind of that design and then this one has a slit and I normally wear um, these black leggings or I have some gray ones too and I usually especially in the winter and spring I wear leggings with my skirts partly for modesty's sake and partly just because it's nice and warm and comfortable and these come from Walmart and they've lasted very well all winter they're soft and stretchy and they're very comfortable and this denim one I got at a garage sale one or a thrift store I think and I wear this one a lot just around home I think somebody went and sewed a band to it and put some elastic in it so thank you to whoever did that it's really nice it it's a very comfortable band and it brings it up a little bit higher oh this is from style J okay I would have forgotten that that's where this is from uh, I'll leave a link to that below as well style J is a good place to get good skirts they're more expensive but they last for a long time and of course almost anything can be paired with denim this was uh, one of my favorite shirts to wear with a denim skirt or I could I wore it with a black skirt sometimes too and this is from Walmart I love the design on it but per usual it soon started pilling and yeah it's stretching and I don't think it's gonna last beyond this one winter but it wasn't it wasn't that expensive and I did get at least one winter and springs use out of it this is another top I wore and wore a lot You've probably seen this seen me in this top for a year or two on and off on my videos and I just love the black background with the white polka dots and then this beautiful floral kind of purple purplish pink flowers and it's just totally my colors and I just I love it and this top comes from Maurice's I would have forgotten I got it there this is another one of those sweaters I have wore and wore and it's about worn through in places but it's pretty comfortable too and it's definitely more of a winter sweater it has a soft sort of flannel inside and I love the lace front and it has three-quarter length sleeves so that's not quite as nice for winter and this one I got at a sweater store in Pennsylvania at a mall one time a couple years ago I think it's Bod's Coves and I had it in my closet for a while and it was a little too tight but then after I lost weight, I was able to wear it, and then I wore and wore and wore it. <laughs> it's 
something I wanted to mention before I forget is that what I usually do is layer, have a layering tank top underneath my tops. And usually what I do is turn them around so the neckline is higher. It's just what I prefer and what I'm comfortable with as far as modesty goes. I know everyone has their different standards and what they feel comfortable in. I think both of these are from Kohl's. Yes, this is the Sonoma brand. And I desperately am needing some new ones. Another go-to for me this winter was this, and not just this winter, but last winter and spring too. Uh, I got this at Target like probably two years ago, and it's another thing I wear on a regular basis. I love how this looks with like the long sleeve. Actually, maybe I'll just show you how it would normally look. So yeah, it looks something like this. <laughs> I just love this uh, olive green color, and it's just kind of a way to cover up too if something's a little too tight or you don't feel good in it. It's amazing what a vest can do to cover that up. And I've worn this one quite a bit with the black and white striped one up there as well. That looks really nice with that. It's about at this point that I feel like I need to stop and tell you all that I feel like I am a pretty basic, simple person when it comes to um, dressing. I don't feel like I'm a fashionista at all. <laughs> um, give me the basic colors of black and gray and white and navy and maybe some green and I'm happy. Uh, and sometimes I have been known to take my sister Annette with me clothes shopping just because I need to get out of my box sometimes. I do also like like um, like the teal blues and um, some I'm if you've ever done like the color um, what's it called the color coding or whatever um, I've never done like a real uh, professional one but just from what I've read and seen I'm pretty sure I'm a winter and so like the bright blues bright pinks um, are good with that so I definitely do like some color like aqua and so that's probably some of the things I'll be looking for when I go to get some spring clothes Love about this shirt is the color. I don't generally wear shirts that have like sayings on them. Not that I have anything against it, but it's just not really my style. And I normally just wear this around the house as well. And now for my all-time favorite piece of clothing <laughs> is this shirt from Kohl's. I got this, I think this is the second year I've worn it. But what I love about this shirt is the fit of it. It's a slimming shirt and you can wear it in the summer and in the winter. What I like to do with this is to pair it with sweaters. And here's the stash of sweaters. <laughs> I just love using sweaters. I don't know, I just feel like they cover up so well. I like wearing them into the office and sometimes to church. And I think this navy goes with so many different colors. This sweater is one I got at, uh, I don't even remember. Let me look up this brand and I'll, I'll, um, I'll make a note of where it's from. I had this sweater, I think last year already, and I just didn't wear it because I didn't know what to wear it with. And then this past winter, I was looking through my closet and I was like, oh, well these colors go real well together. And so I started wearing it and never looked back. This yellow sweater I got at Kohl's this past fall. I got a size too big, so it feels a little bulky, which is disappointing because I love, love, love this mustard color. Another problem with this sweater is it got a little hole in it very quickly and then soon another hole. And I was like, I didn't think I was that hard on my clothes. I took some tape on the inside and taped it but I need to get like an actual patch. It does seem like a fabric that tears pretty easily. I don't know much about the capsule wardrobe but I almost feel like maybe without knowing it I'm doing some of it. I think I would really like it because I just love having sort of my basic colors and then pairing it with things. And I also have a navy sweater like this as well that's a little bit newer 
and I like to wear that when I can too. This is also a shirt I paired with the navy sweater that I wore and wore and wore this shirt I'm talking about and it's gotten just a bit tight. Hmm, I wonder why. But I don't want to get rid of it yet because I think if I lose 10 pounds it'll fit very well again. And this I got off of a Facebook group I'm part of which is called Swap Shop. I think it's maybe mostly Mennonite women, but I'm not sure. I think they were selling it for $4 and then I paid shipping to maybe a total of $8. What I do sometimes in the spring or even in the summer when it's not too hot, I have some short sleeve sweaters I wear with this as well. And I actually have two of these gray short sleeve ones and a navy one from Target. This one again is almost threadbare. I just like to keep looking for these every spring and pick them up. They don't always have them at Target, but when they do, I snatch them up. One of my most recent favorite skirt finds and I wear a lot of black skirts I should have mentioned that and as you can tell most of my skirts are long but I do have some skirts I want to shorten for the summer some that I got at a garage sale and I like I think for the summer it'd be nice to have have them at least mid-calf but for church and especially in the winter time I love wearing long skirts that's just me it's my style and this one I picked up at Cato for very cheap just before the whole quarantine happened and it's just a very lightweight, almost see-through, but it has this sort of slip or inner lining. And I found a surprising number of skirts at Burlington Coat Factory. And this is a heavier type of skirt that I like to wear, like for church or the office. And it has kind of this pattern at the waistband. This is the brand. And I love that you can wear black with so many different things and it works for formal and informal. For a final clothing item that is a favorite of mine, I'll show this jacket that I've been wearing. This, I think I got this one like maybe two or three years ago. In the first year it hung in my closet because it was too tight for me. But then after I lost weight, I started wearing it and I just love it. I love the color and I got it at Target. <laughs> Those are some of my favorite go-to's right now and I think I'm going to hang these back up and then go through my closet and just take inventory of what else I have, what needs to go, look at what items I need to be looking for when I go on my next clothing shopping trip. Soon after I moved into this apartment I organized my closet with bins from Dollar Tree, got everything organized but as we all know as time goes on, things tend to get disorganized again, but it has really helped me to have bins to store them in. Probably my worst places are my drawers, so I need to reorganize those, get rid of things, and get this closet cleaned up. kind of hard to get rid of clothes especially if I think well, I might wear this sometime with this and this but I see some things here that I need to get rid of and if I haven't worn them in a long time and I don't think I will they've just got to go getting rid of some of this stuff especially like this white sweater and the gray one is if I don't throw something out or donate it when it's getting kind of threadbare I tend to just keep wearing it so donating it forces me to get something new to replace it another top I didn't show you guys that I had gotten at a thrift store just before all this quarantine happened and I was so looking forward to wearing this it's so pretty with the lace and then here at the bottom it has this lace and I was looking forward to wearing that with a sweater and it fits so well but I haven't worn it yet since I guess I could have wore it why didn't I wear it on Sunday my first Sunday back to church I must have forgotten I even had it <laughs> I was kind of looking for clothes, like, what am I gonna wear this morning? I was just thinking,
talking about the pilling that happens in clothes sometimes and something that has really helped for me and I'm not doing as well with it lately and I need to do better is I normally do not completely dry my clothes I'll just fluff them up and then damp dry them and also my sister-in-law told me recently sometimes she will wash some of her clothes that tend to pill she'll wash them inside out and that's supposed to help I guess if you guys have any other tips for how to take good care of your clothes that they don't pill and wear out as fast when you wash them I also this might be kind of gross but I do not wash especially my skirts I don't wash them near every time that I wear them especially my denims I will go a couple times wearing those unless of course they're really dirty but that also helps them last longer Wow just look at that stack ready to go to the thrift store and these are skirts I had gotten at a thrift store I think uh, a number of months ago and my mom said that she would she has a sewing machine I don't and she I would like to hem these up and there's also one of the skirts that I need to take in that one so she can do that I will have some skirts for this summer hopefully okay I can actually walk into my closet again <laughs> and got all of these things organized and ready for some new spring items this hanger is not supposed to be in there it's not the right color you guys this is so embarrassing I thought it might interest you all to see this dress back here. This is one I wore for my sister Annette's wedding about 10 years ago. And to be honest, this shirt was in a basket at the back of my closet. I don't know how that happened, but I had forgotten I had this shirt. If you all have any suggestions what to do with some of these blankets, these are my extra blankets. And this is a down cover I use at night sometimes when it's colder, but I don't want to keep it on my bed. And it's one of those, hmm, I was going to say I should donate so I don't keep wearing it. I think when I lose a little bit of weight again, I can wear it again. And this stack doesn't even include the denim skirts I might be getting rid of yet. Mm -hmm. 